so I said that I would do a vlog of my of my art and I'm just out here at the table where I've been um, working with these there's not a lot of light out here I might see if I can turn the light on but I just thought it'd be bright enough with the sun these are watercolor brushes with this which is a, a water reservoir so you can go and do watercolors out side you know go away and not have to take water with you but i've been using them for with ink and they're they're really lovely because they're so um i don't know they're so f easy to use they're more accurate for me i'm just going to go and see if i can turn the light on i think that's a bit better i said to mark i'll come out here and start doing a vlog and it'll be photo bombed by guess who because she thinks I'm talking to her. Meow. And she'll be all over this table if I let her. What? What? So, art. Here's one I did earlier. So this is... Um, if I do them this way around. This is the model for this, which I did a couple of weeks ago. I can't find the photo for this. It was much more detailed. I don't really like, I didn't really like this, but actually against the light, if it's got light coming through it, because it's just like an, a sunset sky with silhouettes in front, with the light coming through it, it looks really good. I don't like this one. I did another one of this bridge which I prefer. I, I don't like this one, but it's done. <clears throat> and that was what I was using as my model. And this is my water lilies. And this was the, the model for that. This will look better when it's framed, I think. Often paintings look better once they're framed. And this was me playing with my new brushes um, and what I'm going to do is just gradually fill this whole page with sort of abstract it's, it's in ink um, I'm going to fill the page with you know with build around this and, and whatever that's what I'm going to do I'll show you Mark's latest um, paintings I'm trying to work out how to show you that without the reflection that's in ink and in the foreground, I don't know whether you can see, is um, Stonehenge. That's really difficult to see, isn't it? It's another recent one of his. This one you will have seen behind me. Lots of reflection in that, sorry. I've just washed my hair and I haven't combed it yet. I like to leave it. And then it um, has a bit of um, bit of body to it. I don't like flat hair or straight hair. And when I came from the hairdressers, of course, she blow dries it and everything, and I don't do that. So I'll go and comb this in a minute. But um, I just wanted to show you the art. Um, we um, had had our booster jabs on. The day before yesterday, the evening before yesterday evening, whatever that was, <laughs> whatever day that was. Um, and it seemed like yesterday, I'd, I've not slept very well for a few nights. I've had um, heartburn and I've got some um, antacid tablets now to take to deal with that. I think it's a side effect of my new um, blood pressure tablet. So, um, but I didn't sleep that well last night either. But um so gradually during yesterday, we started to feel um, not really with it and tired and um, dragging ourselves around a bit. I went to art. I really enjoyed it. It was the last day of term and we had a lot of laughs, um, but I was pleased to get home. And then we, um, Mark had a doctor's appointment at 5.15 and um, to get a new prescription. And um, as we went, my handbags in the back and he said to me I'm sure there must be more on my old prescription 
I'm sure I must have the the tablets on my prescription and I went well I can't look now you know and when I looked I didn't see any um, and when we got to the doctors I looked at the prescription and it was in two parts and I'd read the top part which had been completed but underneath was the tablet that he was going to the doctors to get a prescription for and he'd only had one lot of that prescription they normally last three months so we had to go and sit there's no receptionist in the afternoon so we had to go and sit and wait for the doctor to finish with his patient and then i went well, i just went along oh, i said I'm really sorry we don't need to see you um i'd misread mark's prescription and he went oh that's good he said i'm really behind because he's always late anyway i'm really behind so i thought well, he's probably quite pleased about that not to have to see us and it sort of skips another quarter of an hour and puts him you know maybe brings him back on time i don't know so we dragged ourselves there and then we came back and um everything seemed like an effort um and i ended up in bed by nine o'clock and i had about um and it was daylight, you know, it was daylight when I went to bed, but I, I slept for about an hour and a half. And then um, Mark came up and that disturbed me. And then I get too hot. And so I got up and I got up and it was quarter to 11. And I, it was light enough still for me to see my way down the stairs. Unbelievable how light it was. Um, so I sat up for about an hour and a half and played my game and then went back to bed and um, still struggled a bit to get to sleep. I got stuff going over in my head and then um, slept. Um, I think it was about nine o'clock when we got up. Oh, I keep wobbling this and I'm sorry. Um, so, yeah, Aaron, I think we're feeling better today, which is always the way. You know, you have the vaccination and you you have that feeling of, oh, I don't feel well. I'm coming down with something. And then. And then within, you know, a few hours, it's gone. So I think we're feeling OK. We've got to go to go, well, things to do today. We've got to go out. But I said, I don't want to go out till this afternoon. Friday morning will be busy. I don't want to be out when it's busy. Covid numbers are rising here. And I shared um, something from the Zoe and um, from Tim Spector, Professor Tim Spector, um, talking about that the Covid numbers over in the UK are going uh, heading towards higher than they've ever been which I find <laughs> I find really depressing because we're about to leave for the UK for two weeks. I mean, I had intended to be careful, um, you know, masking and all of that, um, which we do here anyway. Um, but I'm just thinking, oh, for fuck's sake. So, yes, the, the COVID numbers are up. So we've been completely vaccinated and um, we'll just have to hope against hope. That, I mean, for me at the moment, um it's about being able to do the trip safely not give anything to anybody and then get back here and then if we get covid once we're home that's fine but it would be quite nice if it didn't get in the way of our um our trip to the uk um what else awful awful news well awful news um Awful isn't the right word. Crap, crap news coming from the UK government and the US government. Well, no, not the US government, the fucking Supreme Court. Um, UK government, crap, corrupt, perverted, perverse. Uh, there's a blowjob, blowjo, bojo blowjob story that isn't really making it to mainstream news. You can see it on Twitter. Um, and then there's the, um, the the chief whip who fumbled with some men uh, because he'd had too much to drink. And, and I mean, the bollocks about that is that if you're going to do that when you're drunk, it's something that you're wanting to do when you're not drunk, you know. Um, so there's that. The Supreme Court are now overriding or changing something, um, some law, so that um, about cutting emissions, so they don't give a fuck about the planet. It's just um fucking believable what's going on. I, I I I yeah, that's all I can say really. I'm not going to say any more than that because I haven't read around it enough because I've been too tired and too too vaccined to take it in. Um, I am going to do Cajun chicken and um, polenta with or I'm going to cook cat. I'm going to cook you. We're going to eat you. How about that? What? She just thinks I'm talking to her. 
some of the time I am, but it's threats to cook you. Um, Cajun chicken and cauliflower, polenta with cauliflower rice and parmesan. That's quite nice. I made a quiche yesterday because of course we've got eggs and um, I made a smoked salmon and broccoli quiche and I've got half of that left. So we'll have that for supper. And um, I just need to make sure I've used all the um, the bits and pieces in the fridge that need using now before we leave. So I don't want to do any more shopping as such. Um, so yeah, I need to, I'm being careful now that I don't buy anything that's, you know, that we're not going to be able to eat before we leave. So that's that. <laughs> I'm going to go back to playing my game or maybe I'm going to start and make the, poly, the cauliflower rice. Back to playing my game and um, that's the update from Chez Nous aujourd'hui.